Well, Meat, this is a hell of a predicament. Dance, Ingram, Lee, and a few other Brotherhood lieutenants remained loyal to me, but Quinlan and Tegan helped Maxon stage a coup. I knew I should have killed that bastard when I had the chance. Kells has apparently remained neutral, but he's currently on the airship with the Rebels. Max, the Maxon loyalists were spread out, and I gotta say, they had a good plan. They began by trying to seize power at the airport and the police station. This, however, was a diversion. It drew off my loyalists from the Pridwin, unknowingly leaving it entirely staffed by Maxon loyalists, at which point Maxon himself showed up and reclaimed the Pridwin. My people lost the battle for the police station, but with Liberty Prime to help were able to hold out at the airport, long enough for my people to form up and move out, along with Prime. They've relocated to Fort Strong for now, but with the fighting over, Maxon's crew will be able will be hitting the railroad soon. So, I've gotta go deal with that before I can even think about reclaiming the Brotherhood. And I still have Sean's order to wipe out the railroad to deal with. Though I do have an idea in that department. Anyways, let's go, buddy. Come on. Heads up. Moving out. All right. So, first stop, Railroad HQ. Z1's rebellion is ready, but we have a crisis. The Brotherhood's on their way here. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, apparently there's been an insurrection. Loyalists to the Old Guard are attacking. The Institute caught wind of a surprise attack. Jesus. Quick, take this. Tom made it for you. Sounds like we're going to need it. Everyone else, mobilize. We got Brotherhood incoming. Railway rifle. Give it a try, shall we? How steampunk. What the hell's going on? Good job, huh? Old Love Devon stopped us fast. The heck? Um. Oof. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Someone's Ooh, decapitation. I love it. Yeah, that'll serve as a reminder, won't it? That's great, ain't it? Demona. We're cut off. The catacombs are now our only way. Alright, I'll handle it. I'll clear the catacombs. Do it. Mm, settle down, lady.
None of them got past me. Damn, that stings. Listen, the railroad's always sitting on its hand. Ah! You're the best thing that's ever happened. Promise me you'll free them. All of them. Hmm. Does it hurt, kid? How bad is it? No escape. This time. Isn't there... Isn't there supposed to be a light? No. No, there's not. God damn it. I hate it when somebody I had sex with dies. What a shame. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, hi. Hey. No. Fucker. Hey. Hello. Oh, cool. This thing makes train noises. I love it. Not very stealthy, but, you know. Again, I'll let that be a lesson. Keep that up as a signpost to any other brother who'd want to try to come in here. Got a light? I'm just gonna stay right here, let him get a little closer. Ho 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 ho! Applied your head to the wall. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Brandis, you fucking ungrateful prick. Cry later. Whoops. balls of ice at you. Brotherhood underestimated us badly. Their next attack will be far, far worse. So we do the unexpected. 
we eliminate the Brotherhood as a threat now, and the key to that is destroying their flying fortress. The crit. Fortunately, we've got a contingency plan for that. Tom, we're activating Operation Red Glare. What? But Red Glare requires a Brotherhood murder burn. Then Charmer will get you on it. Hmm. Well, destroying the Pridwin's actually not a bad idea, given the current situation. My loyalists are on the ground, and... I can get them to, you know, if we can destroy the Pridwin, that'll knock out most of Maxon and his crew. And then we can mop up the uh, people at the airport and the police station. Alright. Count on me. With what happened to Glory, we need you more than ever. Thanks for stepping up. The Brotherhoods occupied the Cambridge police station. Spotters report they almost always have a vertebrate parked on its roof. Take it. And Tom, you're going with him. Me? In the field? No one else can fly the damn thing. This one's for glory. Move out. Alright. Well. Looks like I'm gonna have to kill uh, all the loyalists at the police station first, myself. Which I'm kinda looking forward to, honestly. But we probably wanna not move right into the police station. Let's move into the square. Alright, let's see if uh, Tom and Deacon have shown up yet. Hey, Tom. Hey, how do you live up here? There is a million ways we can be monitored right now. By the Brotherhood or, you know. Oh, Jesus Christ, Tom. Another one of your paranoid fantasies. Come on, man. Maintain positive energy. The police station's crawling with Brotherhood guys. At least one in power on them. But as promised, they got a vertebrate on the roof. You really up for this? I'm up for anything. It's payback time. Prepping that vertebrate for takeoff is gonna take me a few minutes. So first, we gotta clear the police station of hostiles. For glory. Oh shit, are you actually gonna fight, Tom? Good for you. I think I will use this railway rifle some more. Die, loyalist pigs. Reese. Figures you're a loyalist. Fuck you. Oh, you didn't like that, did you, traitor? Yeah, that's right, pigs. Ow. See who's left for us inside. I'm sure they won't Weapons ready! 
Go to hell. Head knife. Some name. How many, how many traitors there are. The forms are obeyed. Shortly. Take no lost visual. Get a visual for you right here. to loot. Well, I'll have to get word to Dance that he can uh, move some of my people back in here now. Let these filthy traitor scum cleared out. To the roof. You know what am I supposed to do here? Not eliminate the Brotherhood forces. Could have sworn I did that thing. <clears throat> Our number's not up yet. Hmm. Uh, is somebody out here? I'm confused. No, I guess there is somebody still in here. Think uh, they're not gonna notice us? And they'll just let us land? Huh. Huh. There's no way they'd expect anybody to hijack one of their birds. And Deacon says he can talk his way past air traffic control. Whew. Where is Deacon? Well, I Your part is tricky. You gotta find a way to place these explosives on the gas bags. Then get back out. Flight prep is going to take time. And the Brotherhood's not just going to give it to us. So if Paladins show up, Keep them off me and the bird.
Where's the master switch? Oil pressure, check. Here, company coming. Full open. Oh, oh, here they are. Dead people. Hello, boys. <clears throat> Okay. Now I gotta talk with Deacon, but where the hell's Deacon? Finally decided to grace us with your presence, huh? First things first. I picked up some brotherhood news for you. Merry Christmas. More importantly, though, Tinker's ready for us on the bird. Let's go. This should be fun. That's generally the way it works, yeah. I'm not feeling too good. Come on, Tom. It's like falling off a log. Dear God, we're dead. Yep. You are probably right, Deacon. No, dear. Right. Final briefing time. Well, with your colorful history with the Brotherhood, as soon as they spot you. Game time. Yeah, great. So maybe you can play the sneak card. I got you this stealth boy for what it's worth. Odds are you'll get made. Once that happens, I'd run like hell, place the bombs, and somehow get out alive. Somehow. It's gonna be one hell of a firefight. When we land, Tinker's gonna keep the bird of bird spooled for an immediate takeoff. And my job is to be Tom's lookout and make sure any looky loose keep walking. Sounds like a party. <clears throat> I'm gonna be uh, killing off Maxon, hopefully, and all the other Tom, traitors. We're getting closer to the blimp. Can we fly just a little straighter? Deacon, man, I'm trying. If you want to give it a whirl, I won't stop. No, 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 no. You're doing great, Tom. Just keep her a little more steady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. This is Claymore requesting clearance. Claymore, you're cleared for launch bay three. Deck officer is requesting an update on the police station. Uh, hostiles eliminated. Scimitar status. Confirm. Scimitar took some fire. Uh, should be up and running in a few hours. We have a visual on you, Claymore. Your docking port's not open. Got some technical difficulties with the port thingy. 
working on it. Tom? Yeah, yeah, but, but, but which button is it? Uh, there? Claymore, you're clear for approach. Well, I'm surprised that worked, but all right. I guess good job, Deacon. Can't believe they believed any of that shit, but such is life. Where the hell are we? Ah, there it is. Oh, look, we're gonna go right by my Ferris wheel. Could take a few pot shots at my Ferris wheel, but, you know. That would probably be bad. Cleared off the deck. What did that say? Engineer's armor. For some reason, I thought it said engineer's pistol, and I was like, huh? Once we get inside, I don't think there's going to be any sneaking. But I figured why not uh, at least get the people outside while I can. Oh, let's see. Goss rifle. Railway rifle, Sequoia. We'll go with the old Sequoia. It's got the right words on it for uh, for Maxon. Six Semper Tyrannus. Just in case. <laughs> Facing him already, huh? We'll deal with him in a second. you on your knees, Maxim. Yeah, that's alright. Oh. Aren't you a tricksy little bitch? Alright, 
fine. Fuck you. Taking your coat for goddamn sure. Your coat, your gun, all of it. As soon as I can, you know, keep it family friendly. Should be good enough. All right. <clears throat> Bingo. Now we still have to actually blow this place up and kill off the rest of his loyalists. I, mean, I suppose I don't have to blow the place up, but. I kind of want to blow the place up, even though it would also be really cool to have my own airship. with the wrong team. What do you think you're doing? left. Got the suit I blew up. Yeah, I guess it is. Tegan. 
That fucking scumbag. Wanted to try to get me to raid Commonwealth settlements for fucking supplies. You too, Tegan. On your knees. Or just die in one shot like a pussy. Alright. At least Maxon had some fucking balls. Who did, I, who did I get caught by? What the fuck are you doing? Settle down. Just stealing some shit from the fucking dead guys. Killed everybody. Now well, let's go set some explosive charges. <clears throat> you know, like I said, I don't really need to blow this place up anymore, but you know, sometimes you just want to watch the world burn. Let's get out of here, but first I just want to rifle through a few corpses. Tridwin schematics? Quinlan, you are holding out on me. I guess this means I can have the best of both worlds. I can destroy the Praetwin and build a new one. Hell yeah. Oh, your armor's unique, is it? Hmm. Um. Yeah, alright. there's anything else of importance let's um let's get out of here watch this place go up in smoke uh -oh. Get gone. It's possible there's still a few stragglers on the ship, but they won't matter much soon. <clears throat> Get us out of here, boys. Yeah, yeah, there are. out of here, guys. We're out of the blast range now. Here goes nothing. Shit. Ooh, no. 
Bogey. Blam. So whoever I can kill now is uh, less people will have to mop up when we take the airport back. Beautiful destruction. Of course, we're going to need to uh, clean some of that up. Can't leave the airport like that. We're going to need it as a staging area when we do uh, use Liberty Prime. But for now, it's lovely to watch it burn, knowing that I did my job. Let's head back to Dez. One more hour until my shift. Well, let's report in. I thought I thought by calling Red Glare I'd lose more good people. Comrades, thank you for keeping them and yourself safe. Shit would have been a suicide run, you crazy broad. If it wasn't me doing it. Red Glare was insane. You almost got us killed. What option did I have? Run and hide? If we did that, we'd have to shelve your plans with Z-114. And we'd never get another chance at that. But we're not out of the woods yet. If the Brotherhood managed to find us, you can bet your ass the SRB is not far behind. We've run out of time. Our next step is to attack the Institute. Look, I can keep the SRB off your back. For now, at least. If you go along with my plan. I have some things to do first. Understood. Just don't take too long. I'm gonna need everyone in here to head somewhere else for a few days. Mercer Safe House, Diamond City, Bunker Hill, one of my settlements, wherever. Just clear out till I send you a message, and the Institute will be off your tail for a long time. I thought... Now, I've got to put my plan into action. So, we do have a plan to keep the Institute off the Railroad's trail. I, like it. Um, I knew Desdemona and crew would never agree to it, so that's why I didn't give them any details. Uh, but what I have been doing here on Spectacle Island, uh, in secret, is uh, using technology and uh, schematics pilfered from the Institute. Um, have built my own synth construction device. Um... You know, obviously my best scientific minds are here on Spectacle Island, so where else would I do it? Uh, I needed their help to get this thing going. Trouble, I but I figure, you know, at some point, it uh, it's possible that I'm going to have to destroy the Institute. I really hope it doesn't come to that, but if it does, I want the ability to be able to construct synths. So, I uh, worked with Dr. Amari to be able to implant my synths, basically with blank slates. Uh, no real memory or personality at all. Basically, they'll be mindless automatons who I can lead around. And that way, it's not like I'll be really killing anybody. So what I'm going to do is create synth copies of all the railroad leaders and agents and whatnot. 
fill up Railroad HQ with them, and uh, then go kill these uh, mindless Tom Toms. And we will then be able to tell the Institute that the Railroad's been destroyed. So, we're going to start by making Desdemona. And uh, we already have a loaded up muscled version. Or, you know, just a generic muscled body. Gonna come over and inspect that. And we're gonna bring it over here to put the spark of life into it. Basically, you know, give it a jolt of electricity to get everything pumping and moving. Meanwhile, the machine's already loading up another generic synth body. And then it will go into the vat here in a moment. Where it will be given the skin and features of Desdemona. And uh, we'll be able to, uh, you know, continue this production. And then go kill a whole bunch of randos. Let there be life. I am become God. Alright, now let's quickly put some clothes on her. It's as simple as that. You can see she has a very simple mind at the moment. I just want to trade a few things. Go ahead. I just happen to uh, have Desdemona's clothes. Just looking to trade a little. Sure thing. And as you can see, though she doesn't look or sound, I mean, she doesn't sound like Desdemona and doesn't really carry herself like her, she does look just like Desdemona, and that is what is important. So, we're gonna do this for all the leaders of the railroad Deacon, Dr. Carrington, Tinker Tom, etc. And uh, then we'll head them off to the HQ, and uh, then that's where we'll pick things up, where I go slaughter them all. So, we'll see you then. All right, all of my automatons should be in place, so let's do this thing. Bye, fake Des. Yep, and now they're all mad at me. Luckily, it was easy enough to uh, construct a fake Pam, too. Good old robot workbench. Alright, somebody's still left alive. Boom. Alright. So now, I just need to clear out all the synth components. And, um... Report back to the Institute. <sighs> Actually, no. Let's not report back to the Institute just yet. What we will do is we'll send a message to Father that the railroad's been wiped out. That way his, uh, his people can come see it, confirm. But <clears throat> we have uh, a lot of work to do. What we're going to need to do is... Uh, I'm going to have to send Father a message that uh, I've got a lot of Minuteman business that'll be keeping me busy for a little while, so I can not have to deal with whatever, you know, he'll probably want me to go finish off the Brotherhood. Um, but I need to be using what's left of the Brotherhood, because they're my, my guys. So what I'm really going to be doing is, first I'm going to send a squad of... Uh, you know, I'm going to send, you know, most of the Brotherhood to reclaim the airport. 
uh, along with some of my Minutemen. Uh, basically, they're going to need to put out all the fires over there since the whole place is on fire. And um, they're going to need to clean up, you know, get the place kind of back in work in order for the staging of Liberty Prime. And I'm also going to have them salvage as much uh, reusable material from the Pridwin that they can. Uh, because I did lift those handy-dandy Pridwin schematics off of uh, Quinlan. So, once they do that, I'm going to have them move all the salvage material back to Spectacle Island. I'm probably going to tear down the uh, synth construction for now. Um, might rebuild it later, but uh, I'm going to put that in storage. And uh, once we do that, I'm going to have my best people, like uh, Ingram, like um, Sturgis and the Mechanist, all work together to rebuild the Pridwin. Or, let's say, rebuild an airship. I won't be calling it the Pridwin. Um, but then it will be my airship, and we will have a true mobile command base for... Uh, my my people, which is, you know, I used to say the Minutemen, but um, I don't know, that name is becoming increasingly inaccurate since, you know, I've got the Brotherhood involved now and basically the Railroad, so I don't know. I don't know what we're going to call them, and maybe I'll have to, uh, while they're building that, maybe do some work on creating a real governmental infrastructure for whatever I'm building here in the Commonwealth. So... It's probably going to be a little while before I see y'all again. Um, it's probably going to take at least a month or two to get all this together. So, until then, Solomon out. Hey everybody, Great Pirate Solomon here. Just want to thank everybody for watching the latest episode of The Misadventures of Solomon in the Commonwealth Wasteland. If you like what I'm getting up to, go ahead and click on my pirate head over there on the right. Subscribe for more. If you want to see what else I get up to on the interwebs, you can follow me on Twitter at GP Solomon. You can like me on Facebook at Misadventures of Solomon. And if you really like what I'm doing, head over to patreon.com backslash Solomon. Throw me a buck or two. If you want to see the last episode in the series, click on the window on the left. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Solomon out.